Hello and welcome to this fourth tutorial video on how to make a pinafore and bonnet for your rag doll. We've completed the pinafore so now we're going to work on the bonnet. I've got my piece of fabric that I've cut out for my bonnet and I've got my 30 centimetre length of elastic. This is seven millimetre wide elastic and I'm going to create a loop from this elastic and I'm going to stitch that together there. Now we're going to attach the circle of fabric to our loop of elastic. And here's a little tip that isn't in the instructions. What I'm going to do is I'm going to gather with a running stitch all the way around the outside of this big circle of fabric. And that just makes it a lot easier to pull it in tight enough to fit to your stretched elastic. Because even when your elastic stretched really tight, it's difficult to make it long enough to attach the ungathered fabric to. So by gathering all the way around the outside and bringing it in just a bit, not enough to make it tight on the head because we still want it to be able to stretch, but a little bit smaller just so we don't have to fight so hard to make it fit onto the elastic. As you can see, we've speeded this video up a little bit, but it's still gonna take a while. Not quite sure what to do. I could sing you a song, but I don't think you'd thank me because it's not on my skill list. So, just keep gathering all the way around. If you've got a tutorial video that you'd like us to do that we haven't done yet, let me know. We are working our way through them much faster now that we've got the wonderful Kai working with us on tutorials, who's our technical video expert and a great asset and also Maria's son, which is lovely. So we're going all the way around the outside, we're nearly there. The last little bit. Just in case you don't know, there is a tutorial video for running stitch, but if you've gotten this far, you probably do already know how to do that. And here we are, last few stitches, just to get us to the end. got myself in the finger a few times. There we go. So we don't want that too tight. We want it big enough so that it's still going to be loose on the doll's head. So we'll stretch it out a bit like that. And that'll make it a little easier. So we can snip that now that it's tied off check that it goes easily around the doll's head which it does still nice and loose and now we can attach the loop of elastic so we're pinning this onto our folded over edge so it's on the wrong side we've folded over just a five millimeter seam allowance if you go and get it straight from ungathered it's the same it's a five millimeter seam allowance all the way around I'm pinning it on one side and then on the opposite side so that I can make sure that my gather is even all the way around. So I'm lying in the middle and taking this, make sure that gathers even. And then in the middle there. And then around to the other side. And pin there. And then keep going around in between each section, in the middle of each section, and add your pins, making sure that your gather is even as you go. Wrong again. That needs pulling to even it up a bit, it's all gathered on one side. So once we've evened that out a bit, pin that in the middle. And one more there. Ouch! <laughs> Try not to bleed on your bonnet. There we go. So that's 
through the even all the way around. Make sure you can still stretch it. Be a little easier. Just put another one in there. There we go. And then we're going to... Actually, I'll just add a few more. The more pins you've got on at this point, the easier it is to make your gather even. And then we're going to sew all the way around there. And here it is, the bonnet attached to the elastic. And now we're going to work on the peak. So I've got two of these and I'm going to put them right sides together, wrong sides out. And I'm going to pin them all the way around. On this outer curve and then we're going to sew along the short edge around the outer curve and on this short edge and we're going to leave the middle bit open don't sew the middle bit because once you've sewn all the way around you're going to turn it right sides out like this if you want this peak to be a little firmer you can add interlining or interfacing always get those two mixed out mixed up and we're going to sew that right sides together onto the outside of the bonnet. It doesn't matter where because it's a round bonnet. So just pin the inner curve to the elasticated edge of the bonnet like this. And then we're going to sew that all the way around the edge. And there's your finished bonnet. I've put a little tack at the top there to hold the peak up because I think it looks sweet. And that's it, all done. That concludes our tutorial video. I hope it's been helpful. If it has, please subscribe. We'd love your feedback and a like. There are more videos coming soon.